Hello, it's a wonderful people. My name is Mike, as always, and today we're going to restart as just one guy, which I have realized I mispronounced. Let's start a new game here. And it's just one guy, not just one guy, which is what I thought it was, it was saying. Yeah, 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 we know all this. Okay, call me a human. Let's actually do some personality for this one. Oh no, let's have like, um... Well, it is a skirt, um, up massive beard, yes. Up completely white, no, 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 um... Like, I don't know if you're... Let's do this, um... I hear my comment as we know. I have a one little bottle of water here, so if you hear something weird, that's just me drinking it. Drinking from it, I mean. Anyway, um... Power, basically, yeah, I'm gonna have power of my focus, but I really got from last time. Let's make a woman actually. I think I'm from Dark Rock, maybe, you know, yeah. that's the best thing to do. Immersion mode, mode, uh -huh. Oh, so that's a uh, mech again. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but, uh, uh, let's go with immersion mode. This character would probably die anyway, so... Uh, Call Armory! I can't even afford a bloody weapon. Okay, I have power then. A snub, uh, I can't sort off the price, which is all everything here. I can just buy a snub. Um... Peg Armor. I can't afford any. I mean, let's buy some padded armor and uh, let's go with seafaring. And you know what? I can't even afford anything here. Well, what I did here, I can get a mold of. Oh, hang on. Okay, there we go. Hang on. Oh, okay, I'll okay, work okay. here. And what was our kind of thing here then? Old, oh, okay, um... I think these two should change place, like, wood is usually dark and with new. That's at least how I know things, but... Next... Oh yeah, it's also like, very late right now. So if I sound tired, you know why. Um, Goblin Nation, Lemon, no, okay. Let, let, let's go deal with some bandits. Yeah, if I sound tired, it's because I fucking am tired. I should be at least, but I just noticed that this game got, like, fully released. And I recommend this early in the morning. Take all my doesn't have any goal to offer. The Shield Brothers of the Fortress of the Shield won't want to send their warriors. They, they say they have more urgent matches to do at the moment. Cool, just... Probably the best way to help... To, probably the best way, way to help you think... Ah, is by drinking a couple of beers. So you head towards the tavern. After drinking... Then, after drinking a long journey and just going for having thought too much, you start to be very tired and fall asleep on the counter. You are ready to fight and cry on the wind again, so we're running everywhere. <laughs> right, um... So I'm intoxicated, I'm a kind of sleepy. Not a good day, but um... Get out and fight the bandit. 
Your is just going to see a cackle man with long hair giving all of his minions. Uh, gotta go. No, talk, let's just talk. You should check this and press the sheep. Who shuts you up by trying to crush your head, knocking your dogs. Cool, so then let's go battle. It's a very hard one, but. Uh, yes, I, I, I know one of this. If you use the hard push. Oh, well, I got killed him. Nice! The bandage is on the ground, hurting the feet dead. He always makes a sculpted attack and beg for mercy. Uh, uh, time up and win to the authorities. She kicks and screams while he's dressed with farmstead. Nice! Now go, I got the Ashima Rural Hero. Mm. So I have a working working okay. We have got some renown, some fame, and some honor. No morality, even though I feel I did the right thing. What's this now? Shield Brothers, okay. The uh, commoners are really nice, maybe, of course they would. I'm a commoner myself. I kind of feel this thing, like down here, should be able to move away, but I don't, I don't mind much. Uh, to the armory, can I. Um, Oh yeah, he did mention something about like not be, being able to pay, didn't he? Right, um... Goblin invasion, sure. Let's fight some goblins. You're only young to be in this occupied of goblins. You think about how... I think it's good to have you get there. You certainly cannot kill them by yourself. <coughs> Only when you meet a merchant on a wagon told by a donkey. Okay, sure, I remember. He speaks to you when you get close enough. I advise you to go no further on this road, he adds. The window seems to be occupied by a goblin clan. I know beforehand, I would not have come here. Time is money. Uh, get some more information. Uh, until... Basically, yeah, all madness I look at. Uh, it's good the king is not committed to the problem with the shield, but... Uh, Then let's buy some gifts, what is it? Present yourself with a shaman. Present yourself to a shaman, a gift will help you with an organ for the shaman. A brief negotiation with merchants for some beautifully shaped gems. But they can't get particularly a spare price, a special price. <coughs> you continue on the way until you reach the home squad. At the mer that the merchant me mentioned. They are likely to go back, but you tell them young adventurers who have come to help. Small groups seem skeptical, but let to pass through. Soon you glimpse the fear, the fear in the distance. You see a handful of goblins armed with spears in your direction. You must be being at guard. An unfriendly fat goblin asks you, Who are you? What do you want here? Uh You're a bastard from the other town. Can a mercenary looking for a job? Uh, a wife... I'm, I'm working on a man, what's his here? What's up for services? A uh, mercenary, they seem to be. Goblins almost accept tall warriors, the goblin replied. Uh, that's why soon he commands two of the guards to let you through the village while he goes to report to the shaman, take him to the shack and keep an eye on him, the fat or the fat goblin before he leaves. The guards take you to the village square. <laughs> Hang on.
There we go. So, here's a bigger square. On the way you see hundreds of goblins. They are everywhere, in the houses, in the streets, in the fields. Many of them on, but others are not. You see, you see females and children. Uh, so basically the entire clan has moved in. You meet the village inhabitants, often followed by goblins, pushing them to move and work with bare sticks. The cry for help was a little guard always hushed them quickly. You get to a destination of small shacks made of thin trunks. Uh, of information of the shaman. Of information. Shaman has great power. He uses magic to crush all enemies to goblin. He wants a god. The whole clan show and worship from this magical knowledge. They believe this is enough to protect them and guarantee eternal victory. It has worked up until this moment since the message has taken time village. And now yeah, now let's continue to wait. You wait for a goblin you spoke with a tongue to make a girl you don't talk much. And uh, but but the wait is not too long. The fat guard opened the door and said, Shaman See your own if you have goblin. Inside big house, thin men are going to surrender, convince them that you are a friend of shaman. Uh, you get close to the door, speak with men inside. You manage to convince you manage to convince them to let you in. The door open, several hands gra grab and drag you inside. The inn is very crowded, women and children some old people, plus a dozen armed and furious men. Clear of the house. So plan a short day, the chair of father is going to be easy. You know what? I may have spent like 20 gold on something worthless, but I'm going to just plan a short day. The kind of people you're here to free them. We are well organized so the government has no chance. Your words give courage to commoners, but you know it won't be enough to defeat the goblins. Uh, when everyone is ready, you give the order and leave, and leave a screaming crowd of peasants getting outside. The goblins are surprised. Some goblins run away while the rest of them prepare to fight. The whole village is in chaos. Humans and goblins are anywhere, running, screaming and fighting. You meant to get to the men avoiding the skirmishers and hide behind the wall. At the end, if you notice the fat guard giving orders to a handful of goblins, there's more inside for sure. Fight them. We are thinking to attack the goblins. Goblins are on their next use to hard push. Oh, that big basically nothing. Oh, never mind. Okay, the story goes poor goblins. You, you get inside the mill. In the room you know the several goblins hiding in the corner behind every, anything they can find. Only one has the courage to stand up in front of you. He has a long black beard and felt kind of necklaces hanging around his neck. And that forces him to bend forward. He, mu he must be the shaman. You better run or me kill you. Okay, so I, okay, I did need some help. I make that. Come in some canoe. He offers the shaman the opportunity to leave the village peacefully and doesn't even inclined to give up so easily. He looks at you with hostility and starts shouting while slowly moving his hand. It's first already ongoing. Right, so um Spring the corner and come okay first uh, come okay fine. 
Bring a cold of Togang. Oh, that must be because I have, I'm still enough. The big cold gun next to you could be useful. You take it in your two hands, throw it, bringing a cold gun shaman. This inside must be boiling because he's screaming. Ouch. This guy, okay, so I, I think I'm gonna die here. Grab a gold and throw it in the shaman. Yes, please. Oh, I, the goblin in the room has moved, has moved as you got closer to them. You grab off the goblin by the shoulder. This guy does not want to be taken and start beating you as, as, as much as, beating you as he, start beating you as he can. Okay, so I decided to put him down, wound him up. I died and the shaman still survived. <sighs> cool, so that was, um, yeah, you know, just one guy. It's, it's still good. It's not like the best game ever, but it's still good. Yeah. Goodbye, I guess. I'm not gonna do my outro. Goodbye.